By way of introduction, let me begin with his nomination. Tom Ortenberg knows how to kick in the front door, fill a movie house, and be part of a movie that truly matters. Another wrote, Tom inspires and motivates others to service. Tom is CEO of Open Road Films, which notably released Spotlight, the winner of the 2016 Academy Awards for Best Picture and Best Original Screenplay, among many other accolades. Previously, he was a top executive with Lionsgate Entertainment and the Weinstein Company. He is also a board member of the Creative Coalition, the premier nonprofit, nonpartisan, social, and public advocacy organization of the arts. Plus, he is a generous volunteer and dedicated friend of Penn State. Tonight, I'm pleased to present Tom Ortenberg with the Alumni Fellow Award. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first, I have a small bone to pick with Frank. A um, couple of your pirate players cost me a chance at my three-peat in my fantasy baseball league this year. Um, none too happy about that. Um, also, I want to mention Bob. I can vouch for Bob. Bob's uh, talk about how hard the College of Architecture was. I had a couple of my friends were architecture majors, and nobody worked harder, nobody slept less, and uh, all the drugs we were doing was only part of the reason for that. Um, <laughs> Um, but that was, I, I, I was an amazement of that. Um, <clears throat> I also want to give a shout out to the cute little boy with the great set of lungs who's sitting back there. Um, um, if there was an Olympic sport for that, we would have added to Penn State's already impressive total of medals. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, where was I? Okay. Um, I want to thank Dr. Barron and Dean Harden, um, Kevin Music and Mike Porman, uh, like Mary, also from the School of Communications. Um, I want to thank them for their support and, um, at the least, not blocking my nomination for this prestigious award. Um, um, so I've been asked, I've been asked several times uh, the last couple of days how I came to Penn State. And I think my experience was very similar to, to most. It was a very thoughtful process. Uh, when I was seven years old, my mom came home from Macy's with a Penn State blanket for me. <clears throat> And I decided to go to Penn State and never gave it another thought. <laughs> um, but I love Penn State so much. I really do. I love Penn State so much that even 34 years after graduating, I never tire of telling anybody and everybody I meet, wherever I meet them, about how great Penn State is and about the wonders of Happy Valley. Uh, I never tire of it, and I never will. Uh, I came to Penn State with two, two major passions, movies and politics. And Penn State gave me the freedom and the opportunity to pursue both of them. Um, I, I literally got my start in the film business here at Penn State. I would set up 16 millimeter projectors in the back of lecture halls, and we would show movies like Revenge of the Nerds and uh, other classics, and, uh, and we would raise money. We'd, be, we'd raise money for our nonprofit student groups. And while at Penn State, I also, along with a few friends, we started our own political party. We started our own third, third party political party. Um, <clears throat> don't tell me that there aren't a lot of people in the room tonight that wish they could start their own political party right now. Uh, um, and uh, we started our own political party. And in 1984, at the age of 23, I ran for the state legislature on that third party ticket. And to the surprise of many, most of all myself, I was endorsed by the Center Daily Times. Um, <clears throat> Which, which I believe explains in part why the CDT no longer endorses political candidates. <laughs> um, but it was, um, it was a great experience. I've, I've, I've had the, for, the good fortune to achieve many of my dreams um, through my amazing experience at Penn State and the support of uh, my wonderful family, including my beautiful and loving wife, Edie, my sons, Jason, Andrew, and Cole, um, my mom, Ruth, my, my dad who passed away recently, Sam, my brother, Bill, and um, my sister, Lisa, who is also another proud Penn State alum. Um, I've been lucky to be associated with a number of motion pictures that have deeply affected people. Um, pictures like Monster's Ball, Crash, The King's Speech, um, and most recently, as Dr. Barron mentioned, Spotlight. Um, <clears throat> I say lucky because that's exactly what I've been. 
and I'm fully aware of it, and I'm fully aware that none of that would have been possible without my experience here at Penn State, and for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you very much.